My name is Katharina Böhme. I'm the CEO of FIND, the foundation for innovative new diagnostics, and I'm based in Geneva, Switzerland. Our biggest country operations are in India. The needs are major and remain major. While we have made a lot of progress in TB, we still do not have the much needed point of care test that would actually bring diagnosis to patients. We estimate that there is a need for annual testing uh, of at least 30 million tests globally for TB, for example. Um, we see very similar needs, although at smaller scale, for neglected tropical diseases, um, but also for emerging important diseases such as hepatitis C, which now become for the first time um, curable and manageable with the new emerging drugs. So for example, for hepatitis C, just 1% of the estimated 12 million hepatitis C cases in India today know that they have uh, hepatitis C and were diagnosed. So the, there are six transformational new tests that are being used in the Indian public health system, but also in the private um, system. Um, but what they lack today is, first of all, they're not affordable enough to reach the poorest of the poor uh, and to be scaled up widely enough so that we actually can close the diagnostic treatment gap. Um, so what we need is even simpler, even easier to use, and even more affordable new tests. Uh, we're working with the Indian government right now to evaluate what we consider the next transformational tool for TB, but importantly also for drug resistance testing, um, drug susceptibility testing, which is so important, for example, in India where resistance to deep TB is a major problem today. The challenges we see are of course multiple fold, but one of the important challenges is um, that when we diagnose, that doesn't automatically mean that patients also get treated. Um, so for example, we see still long delays between diagnosis and treatment in many countries. Um, our vision there is to work on fully connected diagnostics, maximize um, the availability and use of IT tools to actually um, use the diagnostic data and make sure that patients are put on treatment rapidly and are cured rapidly. Um, a big challenge we see in India, of course, is that at least 40% of the TB patients um, contact the private sector rather than the public sector. Um, so there is an urgent need to scale up public-private partnerships and to work on a consortium approach all together that is even more holistic and allows us to reach all patients and not just those contacting the public sector. Uh, so probably the most transformational tool is the expert MTB RIF test or CBNAT as it is called in India. The government of India has just announced the purchase of the first 300 instruments um, and is expecting to order another 500 instruments over the coming months. Um, this tool is revolutionary because it is full, fully automated um, and because it can detect TB but also um, um, MDR, multi-drug resistance, in one step. It is thus an important step towards universal drug susceptibility testing. Um, so it's a great tool in principle, but it's not good enough. We do need to work on even um, simpler tools, even more affordable tools. Um, really our vision in terms of TB testing is a test that looks just like an HIV rapid test or a pregnancy test and can be deployed at community level and really can diagnose patients where they are based in their villages and cities. So FIND is negotiating a major grant with UNITAID, an international donor agency, um, to work in eight countries 
on enabling diagnosis and treatment for hepatitis C. So we will support ministries of health in eight countries in um, developing screening and diagnosis programs. As I said, right now only 1% of globally expected 150 million hepatitis C cases know that they have hepatitis C. And the new hepatitis C drugs that are out there can only be used effectively if we have a diagnostic test and if we diagnose patients. So really diagnosis today is the bottleneck to managing TB, to, con uh, to managing hepatitis C, to controlling hepatitis C, and one day to ending hepatitis C. Um, our work with CIPLA will really complement the Unit 8 project that we are negotiating. Um, in that, CIPLA will be very engaged in awareness raising on the clinical side, on the patient side, for the need to get tested and for the need for the importance of addressing the hepatitis C problem. So they'll re help us very much on training, education aspects and awareness aspects. And so together in this consortium, we really hope that in five years from now, what we'll see is fully functional public screening programs for hepatitis C and, and really first successes in driving down hepatitis C globally and in India, first of all.